I'm going to show you three powerful and easy strategies to automate your trades using all trading and trading view alerts to automatically enter and exit trades, make trading less stressful and completely remove emotions from your trading decisions. You've been making some terrible trading mistakes lately. Even when you buy the dip and the price bounces, chances are you're thinking, I timed this entry perfectly. This is the bottom and look, now the price is bouncing. Why would I sell on the first bounce for 5% when it could pump 50%? We all know what happens next. The price moves up a little bit, then it keeps dropping. Whether it's fear or greed, the market always finds a way to get the best of you, unless you're trading smarter, not harder. And smarter traders know the power of using automated trading tools like All Trady and TradingView Alerts to beat the crypto market. All Trady is a third party trading platform that connects to many of the exchanges that you already know and use, and their trading tools and bots give you Superman level trading abilities and strategies. TradingView is a popular charting platform for tracking the price of Bitcoin and pretty much anything that's related to the world of finance. We're focusing on using TradingView because their alerts allow us to insert webhooks, which can then send signals and actions to all trading based off of price alerts or indicator signals. I've talked about the TBO springboard bounce many times before, whether it's on X or Twitter or here on YouTube. This is a simple and effective trend trading strategy that allows you to ride the uptrend, buying the dip and selling on the bounce. One thing I want you to know that the TBO, I've removed a lot of the signals just to make this really simple and plain and clear to see. And what we're looking for is this right here. Whenever the price actually crosses this thick green line, that is a TBO springboard bounce. Because we're on the four hour time frame, these bounces aren't going to be massive. So it does depend on the time frame. But for the purpose of this video, this is actually a perfect example because we want our bots to be busy. So the idea is that we buy when the price crosses down the TBO fast line like this, and we want to sell on the bounce. Now it's up to us to determine what that bounce percentage is and the time frame and the price action will tell us. We've seen XMR shoot up as high as 4.8%. When we continue to look at the chart as it goes up, trying to measure these bounces as it goes up higher, we notice that incrementally the bounces are a lot less, well, exciting. And this is important to keep in mind because we want the bot to be busy, not waiting for take profits to get hit. So it would make more sense to take profit at about 2%. By taking profit at 2%, that way we know that we'll be able to take profit quickly and we'll be able to run a new trade right away. And that's part of the trick of good bot trading practice is that we want to be having the bot run depending on the time frame, depending on the strategy. What about when the price falls a little bit further than desired? As we can see back here, hit the TBO fast and like this and also dip about 6%. If we measure other previous dips, we can see that it also also falls about six to seven percent. So looking at around 6% for an additional DCA order is a smart idea for this chart. Let's go ahead and set this up over on all trady. In order for us to do this on all trady, we need to create a new bot and we're going to focus on a signal bot. The signal bot will operate off of webhooks. We're going to copy this API key and we're going to save it in a note. And this API key is automatically generated and refreshed based on your bot. So this way, even if you could read this grayed out thing, it doesn't really matter because I'm just going to reset the bot or delete it. But if you were to share your bot settings with someone else, they won't see the secret. This is basically giving you insurance that no one else will be able to manipulate your bots because of this unique API key and secret generated for every single bot. We have to select an account. We're just going to choose the paper account for now, even though it doesn't match the exchange that we're using because XMR is not available on Binance anymore. We're going to give this just a quick title springboard bounce XMR. And now we're going to come down to the fun part where we're going to go into entry settings. We're going to use a fixed amount of $500 because we want to be making money on the price bounces. And we do want to employ dollar cost averaging. When the price reaches about 6% is what we said, we want to be adding twice as much, which is going to be 200%. Now I know this is a little bit confusing, but this is how all trading does it. You can see the estimated target size is actually $1,000. We have our initial order size and it's 200%. Yes, it definitely is a percentage value. We have our DCA set up. This is automatically configured. So no matter what the price is doing, it's always going to layer this DCA order, which is good. And now the take profit part, we're going to use a fixed take profit of 2% and we're going to sell 100% of our 2%. But we could decide, well, I like XMR. I want to make sure we keep a little bit. And in order to do that and not make it unprofitable, 
we're just going to set it to a profit volume of 98%. This way, when we add the two together, it equals up 100. So there might be a little bit of slippage, but this way, as we take profit on this ride for XMR, we're going to be taking that 2% profit and pocketing it as XMR instead of pocketing it as USDT. The choice is yours, but that's how you could configure it. But to keep things simple, let's put it at 100%. When you hit that button, it's gonna make sure that you know what your API key and your secret is. Copy it, put it to your clipboard or your notes, whatever, so that way you have it handy because we're gonna need that next for TradingView. Back over here on TradingView, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an alert. You can come over here to the alert icon or just do Alt-A, which is a lot faster. And the condition is quite simple. It's whenever XMR, this ticker, crosses down the TBO fast line. And we want this to happen once per bar. The reason why we want it to be once per bar is we want it to happen immediately as soon as it touches. If we're waiting for the bar to close, it might actually close down here and then sighten the signal late. We want to make sure that the signal is sent as soon as the price crosses down the green line. So we want that to happen once per bar. This is the right one to use for the specific setup. And now we need to come down here into the message window. This message is not going to do us any good. And I have a pre-programmed message right here that I can share with you in the description of this video down below. But keep in mind that you need to adjust the exchange and the ticker for that, all the tickers that you are going to be using for this. And of course, the API key is going to be showing up as something just like a placeholder. In the notifications tab, we're going to come over here to webhook URL and we need to paste in the web webhook URL for all trading. Now that this is set, we're going to go ahead and hit create. What happens next is that when the price of XMR Monero on the four hour time frame crosses down this TBO fast line right here, even though it's pink, it's going to set up a new order. And when that order is done, it's going to automatically take profit at 2% and it's automatically going to place a safety trade approximately 6% below the current price. So that way on the event of a pullback, it will DCA down. It will also dollar cost average down our take profit price and we'll continue chugging along with the bot. We can also use alerts generated by the TBO indicator on TradingView to close open positions on all trading. This is a great way to secure profit and to take the guesswork and decision making out of trading. So that way it's an automated decision. It's working off an algorithm that is printing a signal. When that signal is printed, it closes the trade. You don't have to worry about it, even if your take profit target didn't get hit. And this is a lifesaver. This is actually a secret feature that's in all trade that I'm really excited to share about. Over here, we can see that we have an open trade for Ethereum USDT on the one hour time frame. And right here, we can see this Ethereum USDT position. It's been open for 13 days. And while we do have a take profit target up here, just in case we don't hit that take profit target, I want to close this position. And we can do that on any time frame that we want. And the way we do that is we're going to come over here into the actions drop down and we're going to hit this create webhook link. When we hit this, we're going to get a context menu saying that this webhook link can be used to close your position from an external program like a trading view alert. When this webhook link is used and if unfilled position will be canceled, but if it's a filled position, you can close with a market order or keep the position open. We want to take profit. We don't want to keep the Ethereum and cancel it. We want to close with the market order. So we're going to hit create webhook link and we're going to go ahead and copy this webhook link. Note that this is a very unique link that is not going to be created for any other trade that you have. Again, another safety feature that I really like about all trading. I'm going to go ahead and copy this and then we're going to head on over to trading view. For the sake of an example, just to make this clear, let's say that I entered my trade on the breakout of TBO resistance right here. So this is where I entered and I have a super high take profit target of let's say 100% because I'm a DGen. We don't actually see that move of 100%, obviously, for Ethereum, but we do see a big impulse. And the total impulse right here goes all the way up 18%. Maybe I'm feeling overly confident, and maybe I'm just a true DGen, and I'm expecting a, a 10x on this one entry. But it would actually be more prudent to take profit on the way up. And what I can do is that as soon as we get one of these blue dots, which is the TBO close long alert, I can actually exit my trade automatically. And we can do this on any time frame. So we're here right now. And of course, it's more likely for Ethereum to shoot up 5%. But let's say I had a really extreme take profit target of 50%. So if we do see another push up from here, and we don't quite make it, I can actually set up an alert, which I'll do real quick. And I'm going to say when the TBO 
prints a close long alert at the bar close. I want to make sure that over here in the notifications, I'm going to put this specific URL generated from all trading so that when this happens, it's going to close this position. A lot of you that already use DCA bots know that yes, you have predetermined safety trade orders or DCA buys placed on the chart as soon as you start a bot, but we can use all trading to force another DCA order. We can see here on the chart, we have all of these orange diamonds. These are actually the opposite of the TBO close long. These are all TBO close shorts. And the reason why I'm identifying this as a good signal for an additional DCA order in case I have an open position is that typically we see a decent bounce whenever we get one of these. Here's a bounce of 8%. Here's another bounce of 11%. Here's a really big bounce over 56%. Here's another bounce. Now, some of them admittedly don't do so well. This bounces like a couple and then it drops. So it does depend on the time frame. It does depend. I mean, here's one that fails miserably. So understand that it's it's not just the TBO's fault, it's anything. And it's also the time frame. If I switch this to the daily time frame, then I don't see any of these signals up over here. But you can see on the daily, I'm going to get them at very conservative levels. So this would be actually an excellent place to DCA into a position. And this is how you do it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the condition and not on the daily time frame, but on the four hour time frame for the sake of an example, when the TBO standard prints a close short at bar close, I'm going to put in this awesome, super fantastic code right here like this. And this code is going to force a DCA order for two times whatever the amount is right now. So this is forcing a DCA order with my funds. Now I have to make sure that I have the funds in order for this to work. Because if I don't, well, it's just not going to work. In the notifications window, I need to hit webhook URL and put the new webhook URL in there, which is the api.alltrady.com webhook URL for, you guessed it, all trading. What will happen is that when we get one of these orange dots down here, it's going to automatically force or push a DCA order to happen on all trading. So we're basically using a signal to add funds to a trade that's already fallen down. I'm sure you have some ideas of your own on how to leverage these two tools. Let me know about them in the comments below what kind of tricks you're already coming up with. And it's not too late to get rich in the 2024 crypto bull run. Watch this video right here to learn how now. And until the next time, you know what to do. Stay awesome and stay in the green. Peace.